Of course, us Sixers fans cannot get good things. We cannot win a back-to-back game. So yes, we lost to the Kings. It was a pretty, pretty horrible game to watch. Honestly, it was hard to watch in the second half, especially. We lost ninety-six to one hundred eight. You know, there's a lot of ticky tack foul calls in this game, and it kind of sucks because I feel like as of lately, as of recent, foul calling has been a little bit less um, egregious. I would say, you know, what I mean, like they let players play on. But this game was not that at all. Um, basically, every time someone would drive, any touch on the elbow, any touch on the wrist, it's a foul. So, you know, and maybe it's both sides, I don't know, but I don't like watching games like that. So, yeah, it just made the game almost hard to watch, like almost impossible to watch. And the thing that made it almost harder to watch was the amount of turnovers the Sixers had. Like, we had 15 turnovers throughout the whole game. It, it, it's... It, we can't win a game when we have 15 turnovers compared to a team seven, right? And I mean, this is like throughout the whole team. It's just like it, it looks like we're not we're miscommunicating almost every play. Like either Tobias is not in the right spot or or Cal Larry's not in the right spot. We have to dive for every catch. Like, do you guys notice every time he passed the ball? Is it doesn't go to their chest? They have to like lean over or almost dive, catch it one hand, catch it out of bounds. I don't understand why we can't pass on this team. Like, just do a chess pass. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but whenever KJ Martin, let's say KJ Martin or Paul Reed, any guy, any big guy in the paint, it's most likely Cameron Payne who drives and he just bounce pass it to the person's foot. Like, I'm sorry. What are you doing? You can't bounce pass it at their foot. Like, how are they going to get the ball? So, yeah, that's also another problem that Nick Nurse is going to have to, I guess, teach their teach their guards how to pass the ball when it comes to a paint bounce pass. But, yeah, um, other than that, I'm done with talking about turnovers, but that was honestly one of the main reasons why we lost. Another main reason why we lost is because none of our players decided to show up besides Tyrese Maxey. So Tyrese Maxey pulls up, drops 29 points, 2 assists, 3 boards, and 34, 34 minutes, sorry. He bought out. He's the only one that showed up. Tobias Harris, 12 points, 8 boards in 26 minutes. Not good enough, right? Like, you're going to have to at least drop us 15 points. Or if you're going to give us 12 points, give us 12 boards, right? So, nah, man. Horrible game by Tobias. I just don't understand why he can't just give us a consistent showing of 15 points. I I, I just don't understand. Um, No one else scored over 10 points that played over 15 minutes, basically. No one... No one else scored over 10 points that played over 15 minutes. No one else besides DJ Wilson comes in in garbage time, 14 minutes. He had 10 points. Ricky Council, 9 minutes, 10 points. And I've been talking about this for the last couple of episodes. Play Ricky Council. I don't, I don't understand why he's not getting minutes. I really don't. I don't understand, especially in this type of game where we're going against athletic wings. Wings who, okay, Keegan Murray, I'm not going to lie. Keegan Murray is different. That guy was just shooting. He's like an athletic, taller Clay Thompson. Like the, the Kings have have ballers on their team. You know what I mean? You need some defense. You need some athleticism. You need some dogs on your team. That's going to, I guess, even intimidate them a little bit. Like, I'm sorry, Kevin Payne's not going to intimidate anyone. Mo Bamba is definitely not intimidating Sabonis. Sabonis cooked our team as well. Just rebounding alone. Like, there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to change. I don't know why Kai Jones didn't even get garbage minutes. Is Kai Jones even on the roster now? Like, I, I don't know what happened to Kai Jones. I feel like he we signed him for a 10-day contract. It was it was a big, it was big news. It was a big deal. And then he played a G League game, and then I've never heard of his name ever since. So I, I hope he's on the roster, right? Like, he's athletic. He's tall. So I just want to see... More changes with with this lineup that Nick Nurse is, is is using right now, especially Mo Bamba starting. I don't understand his thought process on that. So I I, I just want to know what is it like? Is Kai Jones ever going to play? DJ Wilson had a decent game. I mean, he's a big as well. I'm so I mean I I just want to see what Nick Nurse does. I feel like there's a lot of changes that he could do that can help our roster right now. And yes, Embiid is still hurt. Embiid's not playing. We're gonna need some bigs, some different bigs, because obviously. That came down. That was the big problem. Was was rebounding. So Bonus just out rebounded, out rebounded our bigs. They had a lot of second chance points. They had shooters all over the court. You know we have Tobias out there playing off ball defense, forgetting that he's playing defense. So he loses his guy, and then there's a guy wide open in a three. So you know we also didn't have Kelly Oubre this game, but it's just it, it, hey, 
it's one of those games where you're just watching and you know what's going to happen. So, you know, it sucks, but Nick Nurse has a lot, a lot to do, a lot of changes that he can make. So the Sixers do play the Clippers again tomorrow at 7.30. So let's hope we can assert our dominance on them again, right? We I, Again, Sixers do not get back-to-back wins without Embiid. All right, I learned that. We can never get a back-to-back win. Okay, I understand. I understand. That's too much to ask for. But can I ask you, is it too much to ask for us to beat the same team twice in a row? I, I'm, come on, please, 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 please. I do not want another loss. We are currently the eighth seed right now. We are currently the eighth seed. We need to get to that sixth spot. I'm telling you, if 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 we're in the play in, I don't feel like I really feel like we're not gonna make the playoffs. I really feel like Embiid's just gonna be like, nah, I'm good, bro. I don't know, man. It's just it's it's a hard spot to be in, right? We've never even thought of becoming in the playoffs. We didn't think this was gonna be not a playoff, play in, sorry. We never thought this was going to be a scenario, right? Us as Sixers fans, we're, we're, we're kind of blessed. Don't get me wrong. We're always in the top three, four spot. Like, we never have to deal with, oh, are we going to make the playoffs? Or, oh, what's going to happen? So this is this is new for everyone. This is new for me. This is new for a lot of Sixers fans. So, you know, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get on a streak. I always say this, but we never do. We get one win and then we lose two. So, you know, I'm hoping we can beat the Clippers tomorrow night. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to drop a, um, a video tomorrow about Joel Embiid's progress of coming back because I'm, you know, I need to do some research on that as well. But, you know, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Give me a subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.